Hey guys, it's Danny the Medic here today in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where we're going to the Borgata Buffet. Let's check it out. These are the prices right over here. Terrific. Let's go. It's looking as good as usual, guys. So we're going to do a walkthrough and then we're going to get something to eat. Yummy. So over here, we have what looks like a sandwich station with some sandwiches. Let's check them out. Sandwiches. It's nicely prepared, but I, I don't know who would come and pay this much to eat sandwiches. Maybe they're really good sandwiches, guys. Maybe they'll taste so good. I wonder what's up. Sandwiches. Mmm. There we go. Yep, that's sushi. All right. We have over here some noodles. It's cold. And some pasta salad. Tartar sauce and horseradish. Shrimp. Spicy shrimp. More shrimp. This is like forest gum. More shrimp. Here we have some lemons. We got toppings for pizza. And the pizza. Moving on, we have more pizza. We have stuffed shells that are interestingly naked looking. Mm. Next long, we got over here some mussels marinara. Next to that, we have some clams. And some little things for butter. And that's the butter machine. Now we have here meatballs. It contains pork and some spaghetti. And here we have some fried shrimp, french fries, and cod. Thank you. Here we have vegetables. Roasted pork loin. Roasted cauliflower. Ah, chicken legs. Now swinging around this corner over here. We have some uh, paella. Uh, codfish. Pasta, bolognese. Now we have uh, sweet potatoes. It's a little green looking. We have here uh, some salmon. Mashed potatoes. Uh, some prime rib. Take a closer look at it. Prime rib, guys. Now I have the uh, horseradish cream for your prime rib. Wow, that's a lot of uh, juice for, for so little prime rib. Ah, it's huge. Now here we have brown sauce sirloin steak mmm potatoes 
grilled chicken and some mushrooms. And now it's uh, Borgata's famous fried chicken. Last time I was here, it was pretty delicious. Mac and cheese. Green beans. Tilapia. Looking nice, guys. And here we have some pulled pork. They, uh, I guess the light bulb went out on this one. Plantains. Coconut rice. Swinging around. We have chopsticks. Some vegetable lo mein. Spring rolls. It's a general soul chicken. Mussels and black bean sauce. This looks nice. I'm gonna try this one. Eggplant and black bean sauce. Vegetable fried rice. This here is chicken dumplings. But let's take a look. Ah. Wow. Chicken dumplings indeed. Sauce. Let's see over here. We have white rice. Uh, condiments. Bread and butter. Bread and butter, guys. Now moving along, this is the soup station over here. Looking pretty good. We got chicken noodle. All right, see, chicken noodle. New England clam chowder that contains pork. Minestrone. Here's some uh, crackers if you enjoy crackers. Spoons. Okay, so this is their salad bar. Bunch of salad and dressings. Croutons, salad toppings, which includes like a shrimp and olives and stuff. Here we have the dessert station. As you can see, they got ice cream. We have here, ah, I have to come around the bottom and come around the top. Got some interesting looking stuff here. So this is uh, the first level. Oh my, these cakes look so good, guys. These cakes look so good. Oh, yummy looking. Ooh, the chocolate cake. Man, I love cakes. Oh, fresh fruit, what's going on here? Here we got bread pudding. And here we have a display case of, uh, I guess it's uh, for employee use. Now the upper level. Here we have um, butter cookies. That's what the sign says. Butter cookies. Oh, look at the delicious looking chocolate cake. Some like vanilla looking cake. It's called vanilla raspberry. Oh, it's looking so good, guys. Oh, yummy. Yep, and that's the second level. And we're back at the ice cream. And these are my selections. First we have the chicken soup, which was actually a little bit bland. Next, we have some of this stuff here. The good stuff is the meatball, but the cod on the left over there 
was actually either burnt or have been cooked in burnt old oil. It was not very tasty, guys. And the sushi was actually quite disappointing. The rice was mush. And now the shrimp cocktail. It was some low quality shrimp that was mushy and not very flavorful at all. The steak was overcooked. The macaroni and cheese was quite watery, but the mushrooms were fantastic. Those were some really good mushrooms, guys. And I tried the steak again. It was still overcooked. And the stuffed shell you see over here has been out too long and had developed a pretty hard outer layer. And you can just taste it. It was kind of plasticky. The prime rib was not seasoned very well. The mussels were kind of okay. The clams were actually quite delicious. But the fried chicken was quite disappointing. It also had that old oil flavor. The tilapia over here was not bad, but it was not very well seasoned. Now over here, the cod that is on top of the frame here was actually extremely delicious. I enjoyed it a lot, but everything else on this plate was uh, mediocre at best. But I didn't like the cauliflower on the left. But then again, I never liked cauliflower. Now we have more clams because they actually were so good, I got a second helping. And here, I tried the steak again and it was still overcooked. But the mushrooms were delicious, like I said. So I got a big helping of mushrooms right there. Well, I don't have to tell you guys that dessert is always good at the buffets. I don't know why, but the desserts tend to be the best. I had a whole bunch of desserts. They were all delicious. All right, so we're back at the hotel and these are my final thoughts about the Bulgana Buffet of February 2022. Now, I believe the buffets should at a minimum have everything mediocre at the minimum. Anything that is bad, like objectively bad, undercooked, overcooked, you know, been there too long, spoiled, you know, things like that. It should not be at the buffet. So today's buffet it had some bad stuff, right? And uh, the good stuff was very few and, uh, you know, a bunch of mediocre stuff. So I don't know, man. Had I paid these prices, I would have been really upset. Well, it was dinner over here. So dinner prices, that's not cheap. And for that price, I expect it better. So I do understand, you know, this whole Corona thing. Maybe they lack a bunch of customers to keep things fresh. And, and you know, the mental work, the workers are in the mental torment and, and everything causing them to not pay attention to the cooking of the food or something like that. Whatever the excuses may be, Bogata Buffet was at one time pretty darn good. You know, even though they don't have crab legs, they were pretty darn good. Back then when uh, the waterfront was the competition, waterfront buffet at the Harris, waterfront buffet had crab legs. It was so good. So, but that's gone. So maybe without the competition, I don't know. So I would give it a few more months. Uh, Atlantic City picks up uh, in the spring and summer because it's like a beach town. You know, you come here for the winter. I mean, you come here during winter, you don't get the beach. So it's not that many people. So maybe that's why. So I'll give it a few more months and then I'll try, I'll try again and see if they get better. All right, so thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please press like and subscribe and wherever the heck those things are. I, I don't know, it keeps changing depending on browser and platform, okay? All right, bye.